it's Larry Martin here. It's the first part of December and things are going really good. I want to talk a little bit about our plan for first time home buyer. So I have Ryan and Skornica here. Yep. And we're going to talk a little bit about today's market. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, where we're at right now, end of 2019 going into 2020, um, starting to feel like winter out there right now. It's actually a really good time um, for first time home buyers if you're considering. Uh, buying a home within the next 12 months or so um, now's a great time to get started and the reason being is right now um, We're starting to see houses sit on the market a little bit longer So there's a lot more inventory out there for buyers to choose from they don't have to be so rushed uh, To make a quick de decision. They can actually take a little bit of time to kind of think about what they want um, And we're not seeing quite as many multiple offer situations as what we were seeing back in the spring and summertime So right. it can be a little bit more of a, a relaxed uh, Environment for a buyer looking to buy a home this time mm -hmm. of the year so. so what I've seen is a lot of people that were looking for a house Last spring and even last winter are now coming back in the market and finding a lot of houses for sale and able to get a deal even less than asking price right now. Yeah. So um, our financing, uh, we have really good financing for first time home buyers, even as low as zero down. So what do you see in that way? Yeah, I mean, typically what I like to do, if, if someone comes to me and they're first time home buyer and they're thinking about getting, getting the wheels uh, rolling a little bit, um, is bring them into the office or maybe meet them at a local Starbucks by where they, where they live or the area they want to be buying in and really just sit down and, uh, and go through their checklist on what they're really looking for in a home um, and also talk about their purchase power, um, kind of see where they're at financially and get them hooked up with one of our lenders that can then reach out to them, go over all of their numbers more in depth and give them a good idea of you know, where they can purchase at, what price point we should be focusing at. Uh, and then also figure out uh, what the buyer has to their power where when we do decide to write an offer on a house, I can kind of go through and know, hey, here's the best way to write an offer to get you the best deal, but also win, uh, win the deal as well too, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so I did catch that you said a local lender. Why is that important? Yeah, local lenders are huge, um, very important just because um, you know, we're not seeing quite as many multiple offer situations, but for the right house in the right area, they're definitely uh, still seeing that. And having a local lender that agents in the area know about and have worked with before or heard good things about, mm -hmm. um, they will be more apt to take uh, your offer with a local lender than some uh, some big bank or something like that. Internet. So. Yeah, place. Place. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, a lot of our local guys are calling the listing agents talking to them about our buyers and letting them know it's clear sailing. So that's really powerful. Yeah. Any last tips? Uh, last tips, I, what I could think of, I mean, I just bought my first house probably six months ago now, yeah. um, would just be to really get all your ducks in a row, um, know exactly what you want to be looking for. So that way when you come to us, we can, we can be precise and, uh, and hit the areas, the locations you want type of homes you want and the price point you want as well too so if it's just yourself looking or maybe you and a spouse or something really sit down and come up with the game plan together on what you want um, and then and then move forward from there yeah so. we can definitely sit down and talk to you about all that so yeah uh, I hope you have a good day talk to you soon thank you